In this illustration, we will discuss about vaporization by ice formation. Here we are required to find how should one kilogram of water at 50 degrees centigrade is divided in two parts. So, that if one part is turned into ice at 0 degree centigrade, it would release sufficient amount of heat to vaporize the other part. And we are given with the latent heat of fusion of ice and that of vaporization of water. A specific heat of water is also given to us. Here we can first calculate if x kilogram water freeze the amount of heat released by it can be given as this we can write as q. Our first x kilogram of water will drop from 50 degree centigrade to 0 degree centigrade. So, we can write x multiplied by specific heat of water multiplied by delta t plus the amount of heat it releases is x multiplied by latent heat of fusion. If we substitute the values this x multiplied by 4200 multiplied by 50 plus x multiplied by 3.36 into 10 to power 5 which gives us 5.46 into 10 to power 5 x. This much amount of heat is released. As we have taken x in kilograms, this heat can be taken in joule. And the amount of heat required to vaporize 1 minus x kilogram water is this amount of heat q dash can be simply written as 1 minus x multiplied by latent heat of vaporization. Uh, we do not need to raise its temperature from 50 to 100 as vaporization take place at all temperatures. So, this can be written as 1 minus x multiplied by 22.5 into 10 to power 5 joule. So, as we use q is equals to q dash here we can write 5.46 into 10 to power 5 x is equals to 1 minus x multiplied by 22.5 into 10 to power 5. Here 10 to power 5 gets cancelled out and on simplifying the value of x uh, we'll be getting is 22.5 divided by 27.96 which is 0 0.805 kilogram that is the result of this problem.